Hello everyone in the third part and second part, I have shown you how to do CTM and the product. So today let's start with the base I'm using this sugar primer. Apply it on cheek, nose, chin and forehead. Embryolus moisturizer also work as primer. Then apply it with your finger and anti-clockwise. After applying moisturizer, then take 5 minutes of cap, then apply primer always remember. For neutralizing skin to hide, her dark circles and dark area, I am using this Europe Girl Concealer. You can also use orange color corrector to hide dark areas. Then blend it with the blender, I am using Beauty Licious Blender. Blend it very neatly, your corrector should not look patchy at all. Always blend it with a wet beauty blender. Your corrector should look even. Then I am using this NARS foundation I am mixing to shades Fiji and Barcelona. Apply it with a brush in a straight line, don't apply like a dot dot, it will look patchy after blending. First, I blend foundation with foundation blending brush, then I use beauty blender to give it subtle look. You should blend your foundation fast and neatly. Always make sure that before blending, it should not get dry otherwise. It will not blend then it will look patchy. Now I am using this Tarte Concealer. Apply it on under eyes. Then first I blend it with blending brush, then I use Beauty Blender. Because Beauty Blender gives you a subtle look. Make sure you don't apply foundation under eye because we have to apply their concealer. Now apply concealer on highlight points like forehead, nose, upper lip area and chin. And then blend it with a beauty blender. Then after that, I am using this Chaparral palette for contouring. I am gonna use this brown shade for contour. Now take a brush put near your ear and take a measure for contour, as I am doing. Take it in a C-shape and then blend it perfectly. Your contouring lines should not be visible it should be blended. Do same on the other side, measure it as I am showing you. Blend it with a beauty blender, very perfectly and neatly. Now contour the forehead with the same color and blend it with a beauty blender as I am showing to you. Then contour the jawline to make it more sharp and then blend blend blend. Then contour your nose as I am doing. Nose contour lines should be perfect otherwise your nose will not look got good. Then again blend blend. After this I am using cream blush. Cream blush stays for long time it doesn't fade away. Tell your model to smile and then apply it on cheeks like I am showing. Then apply it on your nose also and apply it on your chain also. And then blend it with a beauty blender perfectly. Now again, I am using the Tarte Concealer. Apply it under the contour. And then blend it with beauty blender. Remember it should not look different. That's why we should blend it perfectly. As you can see, I am blending it very carefully and neatly, which is most important. This is best powder named Laura Mercy. This is called Pizza Puff from Pack, which we will use. Now I am using Laura Mercy powder for baking. Tell your model to look up, then blend your under eyes with the blender and then bake it very carefully until you bake. Tell her to look up. Baking with powder is very much important because your makeup will be waterproof after baking your face perfectly. Always make sure you have baked your face neatly and whole face is baked. Because this baking is the only thing that make your makeup long-lasting and waterproof. Now I'm using this Chaparral Lipstick Palette. I am using light brown shade from this palette. This lipstick palette is little costly, but it's worth it because we can make many colors from it and it already have many colors. I will be soon uploading the video of how to make different shades from this lip palette. Now make sure you are applying lipstick very neatly and correctly because we don't want to ruin the makeup. After applying lipstick, I am dusting off the excess powder of baking. Now again, I am applying a liquid lipstick to make it little dark. We should apply lipstick very neatly. I like nude color mostly because it is trending nowadays. Now I am applying Kyle on both the eyes. Make sure you are holding powder puff in your other hand as I am holding. It will not ruin your makeup. Now I am using blending brush for waterline. I am using dark brown color for waterlining. Tell model to look up and then waterline. After that, the next part is powder blush. I am using this Forever 50 to powder blush. Tell your model to smile and then apply it on their cheeks. Then apply blush on nose and chin. Now I am using Offer Glow Up Highlighter. This highlighter is very pigmented, but I want to give a subtle look. I don't want too much of shine, that's why I am applying very light. 
Apply it on your cheekbones, nose, chain, forehead, and under the eyebrows. Apply it more if you want more shine. So this is the final look, hope you like it. Uploading more new videos, just stay tuned for the more videos. Just change my mind and applied red lipstick, which do you like the most? Any doubt or whatever you think, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much.